Once upon a time, Marvel and Power Rangers were tighter than a superhero spandex suit. They were practically siblings, not just your run-of-the-mill friends. And this here drawing perfectly captures their unbreakable bond, showcasing how the Power Rangers couldn't utter the word killing. Ah, the 90s. A magical era, where you would have witnessed these epic collabs between the Power Rangers and the X-Men, strutting their stuff on clothing items like nobody's business. Picture it, the Red Ranger chilling with Cyclops, and the Blue Ranger buddying up with Wolverine. Talk about a super team-up. But hold your Megazords, there's more. They even whipped up team-up t-shirts and sweaters featuring multiple members. How did this insane crossover come to be, you ask? Well, it all started with Saban, the masterminds behind Power Rangers, teaming up with the X-Men animated series. In one outrageous episode, the X-Men landed smack dab on a studio filming a Power Rangers-esque show. It was like a mutant invasion, but with circles on their chests instead of power coins. Totally wild. And Marvel wasn't about to be left in the dust, oh no. They too had their own Power Rangers comic series, cooked up in collaboration with Toei, the geniuses behind Super Sentai. They went all out and even created a Japanese Spider-Man. Can you imagine Spidey swinging through Tokyo shouting, Arigato, web slingers! The comics took things to a whole new level, exploring deeper issues than the show ever dared to touch. We're talking scarier monsters, mind-bending twists, and the majestic White Ranger taking center stage. But wait. There's more craziness to unwrap. They even brought in the Dark Rangers, a wicked team cooked up by the one and only Lord Zed. The story reached its climax when the Mega Tiger Zord decided to take a detour and blast off into outer space. I guess even Zords need a little cosmic vacation, right? Issue 4 hit the shelves with a bang, featuring Goldar going full-on city destroyer mode, teaming up with the Tango Warriors to wreak havoc. But alas, the tale left us hanging. There was no further continuation. Can you believe it? The poor rangers were blamed for all the city damage, despite being the shining beacons of righteousness. Talk about injustice. The grand finale introduced us to the Weather Witch, a villain with a Marvel twist, under the puppet strings of none other than Lord Zed. Brace yourself, folks, because this storyline dove headfirst into the abyss of dark themes. We're talking about drowning dogs and causing harm to families. Yikes. Who knew spandex-clad heroes and villains could take such a dark turn? In the end, this marvelous collaboration between Marvel and Power Rangers birthed a collection of comics that were downright intriguing. They served up unique illustrations that left us craving for more. So remember, my friend, never underestimate the power of a super alliance. It's a recipe for epicness, sprinkled with humor, and served with a side of nostalgia.